It's all on camera. Do you want to get fired? Don't touch my bag, okay? Bye. Hi, my name's JP. I'm in Da Nang, Vietnam, and I'm traveling the world. Globalites, I made it to central Vietnam. Da Nang is kind of a kind of a cool town. I mean, there's a, not a ton of central historic stuff, but it's really nice. I mean, this riverside is amazing. It's windy though today, so I'm sorry if the, the sound quality isn't very good. I've traveled more than 14 hours on buses and trains. From Da Lat, I took a bus to Nha Trang, which is a beach town in the south of Vietnam that's actually a big Russian tourist area. In fact, a lot of the signs and menus are written in Russian more so than English. I didn't love it. <laughs> I didn't love it because, I mean, not only were there just a whole bunch of signs at my hostel the night I got there telling me to watch out for myself because the town is just full of scams and there's lots of robberies at nighttime, but also because I'm gay and Russians don't love gay people generally, I just felt really, really uncomfortable. Otherwise, there's not really much there besides a beach. And then the next morning, I took a nine hour train up to Da Nang. So now I'm here. Behind me is actually kind of cool. It's a bridge of a dragon, like a bridge depicting a dragon. And on Saturday and Sunday nights, it breathes fire and water at 9 p.m. Now, I missed it last night. That was my only opportunity to see it. But link down below are some videos of the dragon breathing fire, uh, just so that you can see that. So right now, I'm heading to um, a museum before it closes at 5.30. It's about 4.30 right now, so I'm gonna have to power through it but I just wanted to see it because uh, there's some sculptures from the ancient civilization that used to live in these parts called Chum. Okay, I made it. And it doesn't look like a big museum, so I think we can get through this really quickly. So the museum doesn't actually have a lot of written information in English about what I'm looking at, but uh, basically the Champa were a civilization in central Vietnam that was heavily influenced by Hinduism and Buddhism. Eventually they eroded over time and the Viet civilization in the north kind of came down and took over this place. But um, these are some very impressive statues from some of the ruins that were around here and they were salvaged in the early 20th century. Okay, the museum is closing and also it didn't take that long to go through, so half an hour, 45 minutes is the perfect amount of time to come visit this place. I'm gonna read a little bit more about this civilization because I don't know much about it and this didn't really teach me a lot, but it was kind of cool to see all the sculptures, so. hour right now and uh, this this is like four dollars three dollars watermelon daiquiri all to myself oh my god that is good that's really good for our main course we got pork meatballs with potato bravas I mean, let me c compare this to the size of my hand. Like, <laughs> this is humongous. Didn't last long. That was so delicious. You should go there. I mean, it was just like tapas and pasta. A little bit more on the pricey side compared to what you can get here in Vietnam in general, but well worth it because it was really good food. Wow, you guys, the Dragon Bridge is all lit up. <laughs> One of my favorite things 
ever is right in front of me. And there's always the freeloaders. I'm just gonna check out what's in this hostel because I actually haven't looked around. As part of your stay here, you get a free beer. out like that in a long long time yeah I need to get back in shape anyway I'm on the roof deck of my hostel getting some breakfast and uh, good morning Danan free breakfast actually this was 20,000 20, but free breakfast <laughs> okay I just checked out of my hostel and now I'm heading on a local bus to get to my next stop is Hoi An. And I actually want to show you this because there's sometimes scams on the local bus where they try and upcharge foreigners. And so I'm gonna see if they're gonna try and do that with me. Okay, so the bus to Hoi An is actually really convenient. It comes every half hour or so. It should only cost 20,000 dong. But what I've read is that when they see foreigners, they're gonna try and charge me 50,000 dong. So I have in my pocket, outside of my wallet, just like available, 20,000 dong. The goal is to just get on the bus and hand it to them and sit down and not have them bother me. But uh, if they try and bother me, I'll film the entire thing. I love having a camera. I haven't paid them yet. I'm gonna go do that right now. 20. It's 20. <laughs> it's all on camera. Do you want to get fired? Don't touch my mic, okay? So they try and threaten you to get off the bus if you don't pay the price that they want. I was pointing the camera right at her, so she let me slide and told me not to tell anybody. But it went, it got out. So. All right, looks like we're in the clear. I made it on. I paid the price I wanted. It's time to leave Danang and get to Hoi An. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Follow me on all the social medias. Links are down below. And subscribe because I'm posting videos every single week while I'm in Southeast Asia. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, get off the couch and go do great things. Bye!